Good day, my name is Chris and I'm going to present to you how to compute a hypothesis test problem, particularly t-test dependent two samples using an Excel template. This is an Excel template. This template has three worksheets. The worksheet entitled encode data here, the output worksheet, and the worksheet for the template. Let us have now one sample problem to solve. This problem is a t-test dependent two sample problem. Nine students were given two exams in statistics to see if an Excel template will improve their scores. Here are their exam scores before and after using an Excel template. At alpha equals 0.10, did using the Excel template increase the scores of the students? The scores of the students before and after using the Excel template. Let us proceed to the Excel template. Here is the Excel template. Notice that the Excel template has two colored cells. The blue cell from which the value of the level of significance, which is 0 0.10, will be included. And the yellow cells from which the values will be read in the hypothesis testing. We proceed to the encode data here worksheet. After encoding the two groups of data before and after using the Excel template, click on Data tab. Then click Data Analysis at the upper right corner of the screen. Look for the t-test paired for means. t-test paired to sample for means. Click OK. While the cursor is blinking in the variable one range box, click the red button at its right. Highlight the first group of values, that is the data, the scores before the Excel template is used, including its title. Click again at the red button at the right of the dialog box and click on the variable to range. While the cursor is blinking in the variable to range, click at the right red button. Highlight the second group of values. Those are the scores after using the Excel template, including its title. Click the red button again at the right side of the dialog box. Check on labels since the titles are included in the highlight. The default alpha is 0 0.05, but since the problem gives 0 0.10, change alpha of 0 0.05 to 0 0.10 or 0 0.1. Be sure that the button on the new worksheet ply is clicked. Then click. OK. After clicking OK, a new worksheet will be presented, which is Sheet 1. You are just going to copy the table that immediately appears after clicking OK. Copy the table, Control c and click on the Output Worksheet. Click, place the cursor at the A1 cell and paste or control v after clicking or using control v to paste the table from sheet one to the output worksheet click now on the excel template and the new two values are shown as the p value one tail and p value two tail the next thing to do is to encode 
the given significance level, which is 0 0.10 or 0 0.1. Enter. Now, it's the time to read the decision on the null hypothesis. And this is to reject the null hypothesis. That is how an Excel template is used to compute for t-test dependent to sample for means.